Mining communities all around the world face a lot of similar challenges. They're often uh, subject to these boom and bust cycles of economic development. And uh, as an, uh, an extension of that, when mining goes into bust for the final time, they're left as post-mining communities, often facing environmental challenges, often facing demographic and cultural challenges, facing the environmental legacies that the extraction has left behind. While the rest of the world moves on, these mining communities have to struggle with how are they going to transform themselves to create a sustainable way of living in this new situation. Uh, PUSH provides a key for one element of making them again central to the energy grid, central to the system of, of, of uh, supply of energy and um, balancing out the energy generation as it develops. So it opens up opportunity for those communities to reimagine the way their heritage can, can work within their community. There's a lot of regulatory interest in thinking about abandoned mines. Uh, right now, the, the federal and state governments in, in, in this area and state governments in other areas are, are exploring and discussing ways in which mines that need remediation can be dealt with. How do you manage them? And one vision for that includes alternative energy development or green space creation. And if push can be built into that, where you're integrating the plan for environmental remediation and reclamation, along with green energy generation development and energy storage systems, you're capturing value from all of these individual problems as you move forward with the plan. Another really interesting aspect of push development is that this facility will work no matter what the energy supply system is and how it evolves. It doesn't matter, like at the Ludington plant in Michigan, which has been operating profitably for more than 50 years with uh, nuclear power and coal powered plants. Um, um, it could also operate to accommodate a growing um, alternate green energy like solar panels and wind farms. Um, it could be all these different kinds of things mixed together. Um, you don't need to rely on any particular energy generation technology, but you could also co-design them so that as the energy system is evolving, push can be built into it to work in the most effective and profitable manner. Addressing all of those things in a meaningful way to the local community um, provides a big tent where you can rally a lot of people around this, that, that coordinated project to reuse those either old abandoned mines or those mines that are currently active and nearing their end of life. So you can transition from being an abandoned resource or a neglected resource or an active mine into something that's a sustainable energy asset to a local community going forward for decades and decades.